I'm Betty McNitt and today we are resizing the six day kid blanket. You all ask me all the time in your emails, how many should I chain to make a, an adult size blanket? Well, that depends on what kind of yarn you're using. So you can see here four swatches that I made on 37 chains, just like I show you how to do in my videos. And you can see the, you know, the tremendous difference in size between this little one that's made on sport weight yarn, seven inches to this big one that's made with super bulky weight yarn that's 15 inches. Um, so if you want to know how many to chain, you need, we need to know what kind of yarn you're using and also what size blanket you want to make. So for this video, I'm going to be working with four sizes, baby blanket, 30 inches wide, toddler size blanket, 36 inches wide, which is what the original six day kid blanket was, a twin bed size afghan of about 48 inches wide, and a large adult afghan 60 inches wide. So let's see, this is a lightweight yarn. It is... Louisa Harding Kimono Angora Pure and it says it doesn't have a number on it for the for the for the yarn but I think it is a three a lightweight or a light um, a DK weight or light worsted it doesn't say it doesn't give a description of the weight so I worked it on, it says to use a four millimeter knitting needle. Of course, it doesn't give a crochet hook size. I used an F hook, which is 3.75 millimeters. So I think this yarn is a light DK or light worsted weight number three. All right, so I'm gonna measure this guy. It's about seven inches across. So each point of our um, of our swatch, like from here to here, is 17 stitches. So what you can do to make it easier is just measure um, halfway or measure the whole thing and divide by by two. So it's about three and a half inches is going to equal 17 chains. All right, so we want our baby blanket to be about 30 inches wide. We're going to take the total width that we want for our blanket, which is 30 inches wide. And then we're going to divide that by the width of one point. So with this yarn, it's three and a half. So we get 8.5. So you're not going to want to do a half of a point. You'll have to choose if you want to do eight or nine. You can choose nine or you can just choose eight, depending on if you want your blanket to be almost 30 inches or a little bit more than 30 inches. It's up to you. So let's just say that you've decided to do nine points. So for each point, you need 17 chains. So nine times 17 is 153. And then you have to add three at the end for turning. So 156. So if you do, if you chain 156 with a DK weight yarn, you'll end up with a blanket that's probably around 30 inches or maybe just a little bit bigger. So let's say you want to do a toddler blanket that's about 36 inches wide with this weight of yarn. 
So we're going to take 36 and we're going to divide by the width of that one point, three and a half, to find out how many points we're going to need for a toddler blanket. So we're going to need about 10. So 10 points times 17 chains per point, you're going to chain 170 and then you're going to add 3 at the end for 173. So when the pattern says multiples of 17 plus 3, you multiply by 17 and then the 3 goes on at the end. So for a toddler, 36 inch wide toddler blanket with light DK or light worsted weight yarn, you would start with 173. Okay. Let's move on to worsted weight. All right, so my the worsted weight yarn that I chose was Vanna's Choice, of course. This is my favorite yarn to do anything for kids with. It's number four, medium weight. It calls for a J-hook, and that's what I made this swatch with, a J-hook. Okay, so we're going to measure the worsted weight swatch. It's roughly about 10 inches. So one point is going to be about five inches. So let's see if you wanted to make a baby blanket 30 inches wide with, um, with worsted weight yarn, get 30 inches divided by the width of your point, which is five, and you get six. So you'll have six points going across your baby afghan in worsted weight. So six points times 17 chains that you'll need per point equals 102 and then add three at the end, 105. So if you wanted to make a toddler blanket 36 inches wide using worsted weight, you take 36 inches, divide it by five, the width of one point, 7.2, I'm just gonna call that seven. So seven points times 17 chains per point is 119. And then you add three at the end. So for a toddler blanket using worsted weight yarn, you would start with 122. Let's say you wanted to make a twin bed or adult size blanket, 48 inch wide blanket using um, worsted. So 48 inches. Let's divide by five inches wide to get the, um, figure out how many points your blanket's gonna have. I get 9.6, so I'm just gonna call that 10. So 10 inches, or t I'm sorry, 10 points times 17 chains is 170. Plus three at the end is 173. So for an adult blanket, regular size adult Afghan, normal size like afghan or throw that you would put on your couch about 48 inches wide if you're using worsted weight yarn you can start with 173. now if you want an even wider afghan i've noticed that a lot of people like to make really wide um, blankets or big blankets for like queen beds and stuff like that um, let's see with um, Let's say you want a double bed, large adult blanket, 60 inches wide. And then we're gonna divide by five inches to see how many points we would have in that blanket. We're gonna have 12 points going across. So we know we need 17 stitches, 17 chains per point. So that would be 204 and then add three at the end, that's 207. 
So I think that's a very popular size. So if you have worsted weight, you wanna make a nice, full, big size afghan, go ahead and start with 207. That's worked out for quite a few people. The Bernat Softy Baby Chunky. This is the yarn that most closely matches the pattern as written. It is a number five bulky weight. And I used an L hook for this, even though the pattern says I used an I hook. I'm pretty sure that's not correct. I'm pretty sure I used an L or something close to it. So here's that swatch. We did 37 stitches across, so this is 17 and this is 17. So you can just measure halfway or you can measure all the way across and then divide by two. So let's see, it's pretty close to 12 inches across. I'm gonna call it six inches. Six inches wide per point. So six inches per 17 chains. So let's say you wanna make a baby blanket with this. The baby blanket is 30 inches wide. You can divide by six. So you'll have five points on your baby blanket. Multiply each point by 17 and get 85. And then you add three at the end. So 88. So for a baby blanket and bulky weight, start with 88. And let's say you wanna make the toddler blanket. Um, spoiler alert, it's gonna be 105 because this is the um, this is like the closest thing to the pattern as written, but I'll show you how I did it. So we're going to take 36 inches and divide by six, the width of one point to figure out how many points the blanket will have. So we think it'll have six points. And then we know for each point we need 17 chains. So 102. And then we add three at the end. Ta-da, 105, just like the pattern says. For a 48 inch wide blanket, take 48 inches, divide by six inches, you get eight. So 48 inch blanket with bulky yarn will have eight points. Each point requires 17 chains, 136. And then we have to add three at the end for 139. So for a twin bed or adult blanket, 48 inch blanket with bulky yarn, start with 139. And now let's figure out the 60 inch blanket. Divide by six inches, you're gonna have 10 points. Each point requires 17 chains, 170. Add three for turning and you get 173. Okay, Bernat. Softy Chunky is the last one that we have. So this one is, oh, it's a little funky, isn't it? It's about 15 inches wide. So one point is gonna be about 17, seven and a half inches. So let's see if anybody wanted to make a 30 inch wide baby blanket with this one, it would have four points. So it would be twice as wide as this. I think it would be a little heavy, but um, it, it would probably look really cool. Maybe if you put like some little ribbons or something on it. People like chunky yarn things, especially for photographs. You see these little tiny babies wrapped up in these chunky yarn crochet things. It's really cute. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, but I digress, right? So we're gonna have four points in that. We're gonna multiply each point by 17 chains. 68. And then add three at the end for 71. 
So for a baby blanket and super bulky, start with 71. Now let's work the toddler blanket, 36 inches wide, divided by, what did we say it was? Seven and a half inches. So you get 4.8, I'm gonna call that five. So you'll have five points. For each one, you need 17 stitches, 85. Add three for turning, 88. So toddler blanket, 36 inches wide with super bulky, start with 88 chains. Now let's see, adult size blanket, 48 inches wide. Six point four. So you have to decide, do you want six points or do you want seven points? I'm gonna go with six. Six, each one needs 17 chains. I think we already figured this one out, right? 105. Okay, so let's say you're making the 60 inch wide, double bed, large adult size Afghan. So we'll take 60 inches and we'll divide by, what was it again? 7.5. So we have eight. So eight, you'll have eight points. So it'll be like four of these. So for every point you need 17 chains, 136. Plus three for turning is 139. Let me just lay these all out again and admire them. I even wove in the ends for you guys. So I hope that helps you figure out how to make the perfect size six day kid blanket. And as always, remember to post pictures of your blanket online for me in my Facebook, on my Facebook page, um, facebook.com Betty McNitt and join our six day kid blanket group on Facebook where we can all talk about our blankets, share pictures and encourage each other and help each other along. Thank you.